Hello again everyone, before we get too deep into this, if you haven't checked out our free-to-play GB10 video, go scope it out, because now we're going to be doing the same thing for Dragon's B10. A farmable face team looks like this. Sigmaris the Water Phoenix will once again be acting as our leader and primary damage dealer. Fatal Blade is still a fantastic choice, though I'd recommend slowly swapping over to Violent Blade once you farm a bit of dragons. Veramos the Dark Ifrit is predominantly here to cleanse some of the dots that the boss puts on. If you guys want to be daring, try to eventually swap out his swift runes for Violent. Just be sure you can get suitable speed in the substats. You can fuse both Veramos and Sigmaris at the fusion hexagram. Megan the Water Mystic Witch is still here to buff the team, but her role is even greater, as her second skill is needed to strip the immunity off the dragon. You'll want her fast and accurate, so swift focus may be an ideal, if you find yourself in need of more accuracy than you can get on energy. And I know I covered this the first time through, but even though Megan doesn't have a secret dungeon, she can be summoned from unknown scrolls as well as social summons. Belladion the Light Inugami is back and here to heal your team, boost your attack bars, and strip the immunity from the boss. In DB10, I'd recommend getting Bella on Swift Focus or Swift Energy to get the health, speed, and accuracy you need to survive and strip the immunity buff. Beyond Light and Dark Scrolls, Bella can be found in secret dungeons on Sundays. Lastly, Konamiya, the Water Garuda, is the only new monster on the team. Kona is here as an additional healer and cleanser to make sure your team stays alive. What's great is that it's a two-star monster and can be summoned from unknown scrolls as well as social summons. Honestly, energy, energy, energy is awesome. Swift energy is great too, just make sure that your team can rely on Konamiya to stay alive. And I know he's not farmable, I'm just throwing this out there. If you have Verta Heil, he can act as a fantastic leader with 28% bonus speed in dungeons. He can replace Konamiya if you do happen to have him, but if you don't, no big deal. The team that I just mentioned is perfectly fine. The team, in fact, should be able to reliably clear DB10 without having to target the towers at all. Good luck out there, guys. I hope this helped, and if you haven't gotten the chance to scope out our other tutorial videos, you can see them in the Tips and Tricks playlist on the Summoners War YouTube channel. Have a great day, everyone, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.